Today on Third Coast Reptile, we will be showing you how to build this beautiful 8 by 12 foot reptile enclosure. It's mobile, it's fairly inexpensive, and it's not that hard to build. And check it out. Look how awesome it looks. Let's get building. How are we doing today? It's 80 degrees, it's uh, end of April here, and it is time to start working on our outdoor enclosure. Uh, I could be having my tortoises outside right now, uh, but I would like to get them their enclosure and kind of give them so they can be um, self-sufficient out here while um, I do other things. It's not to say that I'm going to leave them alone all day, but it would be a good opportunity for them to uh, get some natural sunlight and these are the building materials behind me here and we are going to get started. Okay, progress so far. We have our miter joints uh, cut on our boards here. Now these are going to act as the um, kind of like a perimeter on top to kind of sit on. Uh, when you're checking out tortoises inside the enclosure, kind of keeps it uh, a little more safe for me, you know, reaching over and getting in and out instead of being on these sharp edges uh, of the steel here. So that is stage one, getting the perimeter um, kind of prepped here. The next step, we're going to go ahead and cut this big four by four here into um, two foot length. So stay tuned and we're gonna get that done. All right, so now that we have our corner pieces made, it is time to finally assemble. And we're gonna start by making our corner pieces attached to our steel and then uh, we'll frame it in from there. How exciting, right? Okay, as you can see, I have one wall kind of put together here. Uh, you can kind of see how the structure is getting formed. We cut our four by fours into two foot lengths is our corner post. We have our wall and then that piece right there will be the cap that goes over the top. So we don't have to worry about hurting ourselves on this little sharp edge right here. So the next thing we're gonna do is work on the other 10 one, the other 10 foot one, and then do the two long 12 foot. All right, so now we have the perimeter set up like so, and now we're going to work on this cap piece, which is this right here, and that's again to protect us from these sharp edges. I think this is turning out really nice. I think the uh, tortoises are going to like this little enclosure for them. And of course, we'll put like a water dish in, maybe a little hide for them for security. But for all intents and purposes, this is just for daytime use. At nighttime, I will be bringing them back inside. All right, as the sun's winding down here, everything's looking really, really good. Again, let me get an overall view here. This is a eight by 12 enclosure. Plenty spacious for a couple of red foots. Or if you have a lot of little babies, they could all hang out in here, little hatchlings. Uh, if you were gonna leave them out overnight, I would highly recommend putting like a, a chicken wire kind of over the top 
and uh, putting a shelter in here, which I think we're going to do, and we'll provide a water bowl. So I'll continue the video here when we get uh, kind of everything set up for them when we have them outside tomorrow. So with that, I think you can see the sun's going down. Uh, there's mosquitoes out. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up for the day. But uh, I'd like to give a big shout out to this guy right here. Thank you so much, Carter, for your help today. Such a big help. You wouldn't even believe it. But um, he's a really good, handy guy. If you, uh, you need some work done, I'll, uh, I'll recommend him. All right, we are outside today hanging out with Hank here um, in the new enclosure. The new oh, out, the outdoor enclosure. There's Hank over there. He's uh, kind of checking his boundaries here to see what all this stuff is. He's never been outside here yet, so this is an all new experience for him. Uh, I really think the enclosure turned out great. The cool thing is nothing's in the ground. This whole thing is movable. Uh, and you may be asking, well, John, this is good for one or two tortoises, but you know, you get a lot more than one or two tortoises. So what, uh, what are you gonna do about that? Well, we're gonna build more of these. I believe six to be exact. They cost about 200 a piece to build, so I'm not gonna build them all at once. I'm gonna do this uh, probably on like a bi-weekly basis, and uh, through the summer we should have all six built and all the tortoises out here for the summer. I believe it's the best thing for natural sunlight. You can't beat natural UVB. Um, they can eat some of the stuff that's out here, uh, so I still have to make sure I get them fed every day. But for the most part, this is uh, this is the best place for them to be. So let's take a look at Hank again here. Let's get ya! Whoa, whoa! Here he is again. He's just trying to discover his boundaries here and see what the what is this shiny stuff. You're the star of the show today. Usually it's Betty or Stella, and it is you. It's all you today. All right, so I think that's gonna wrap up our episode today. Uh, for me and uh, Hank here, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and we're gonna build many more of these, and I'm excited for that. We'll see what, uh, see what that brings for us, huh, Hank? You can have more of your friends out here. I don't think Hank really cares. Nah. Hank does what Hank wants. Anyway, it's gonna storm, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up and uh, and head outside. Uh, thanks for watching.